What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Rogue Tuesday, and we're going to look at a Metacross GX, because, um, why not? So, uh, Metacross GX, and we're partnering with Socalio GX. This actually was suggested for Fan Friday, and I was like, that sounds like a very fun deck. Let's play that for Rogue Tuesday. And, uh, if you don't know, Metacross GX, 250 HP, he is a tank. He is a, he is a super HP Pokemon. And he has a really cool ability, Geotech. Once you're returned before you attack, you may attach a Psychic or Metal Energy from your discard pile to your Act Pokemon. So it's kind of like Bronzong, like Electros and all that kind of stuff, but it's to your Active instead. But it's still a really, really good ability for sure. And your attack is going to be Giga Hammer. It does 150. The po this Pokemon can't use Giga Hammer during your next turn. And of course, you'll play a Choice Band to do another 30 damage. You can do 180 if needed. Now, he does have a, an interesting GX. Um, search your deck for five cards and put them into your hand. Then shelf your attack. Now, this can be easily countered by N and is not so good of a GX attack for sure. It's interesting. And if you don't get in, it is really good. But... Probably will get in <laughs> if if your opponent isn't in you, then you're gonna be able to use five cards that you just put in. But five cards is a lot. Like, what five cards would you dig for? I have no idea. Uh, but a three one three Metacross line. We're playing this Beldum because it has the Ram for one energy. We're playing this Metang because one energy you can Ram again, and of course this Metacross. All right, so a three one three. So Galio, this is how we're gonna start the game off. We're gonna we're gonna get some Galio at first. We're going to use, actually, Soul Burst GX um, to search deck for five energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon. I think it's both. I think it's funny that both of them are five cards. But this one's going to be able to you attach your energies any way you want to. And the plan is to put one on the active. So Galio and two on the bench, Beldum, and two on bench, Beldum. Or maybe Metagross, if you have a Metagross out. You put two on the bench and make it where you have two on the active. And so that way, next turn, you have three different guys that can attack. You have the Metagross with the Giga Hammer, or the Sogalio with the Sensual Strike. Sensual Strike does 230, so it's knocking out pretty much everybody. But you have to discard all energy from this Pokemon. But it does kind of partner well with Metagross. Like I said, Metagross gets energy out of discard pile. You attach to your active Pokemon. You can do this twice and attach. And uh, you just keep on just streamlining your Sensual Strikes. But also, he has a really cool ability, Ultra Road. Uh, once during the turn before you attack, you may switch your act Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So the plan of the deck, if everything works out well, is you get a Soul Burst off, you swing with Metagross, you can then maybe switch the Solgaleo to the active, or maybe switch the other Metagross to the active, um, with, with using Sun Shell, oh, I mean using Ultra Road, because you can move any Pokemon, so it's really nice. You can move Solgaleo to the active, Solgaleo to the bench, Metagross, you can switch out your Metagrosses. There's a really, really good card, card overall, just switch it out. So you can switch between Metagrosses and then finish the game up with, uh, with the Sal Galio knockout of whoever you want to. You can just like keep using Sal Galio if you have the like double Metagross. It's a really strong deck. It is very ability based though, so Haxus will shut you down pretty easily. But 313 and a 313, I think the, the, the part that's going to struggle the most is setting up. Um, but I think you're gonna be fine here. So 313, of course, you know, Dust Gathering, draw a card, and the Cosmomon, uh, Teleport, Switch Pokemon with one of your bench. So 313 and 313. Uh, two Shaman, one Tapu Lele. The Shamans, of course, help set up so you can draw two your rare candies, your Ultra Ball, stuff like that. And one Tapu Lele, just to guarantee a supporter card. So two Love Ball, we are playing a bunch of 90 HP Pokemon, or less Pokemon. So Beldum, you got Metang, you got the Cosmog, and the Cosmomon. They both have 90 HP or less, so you get, that's like, you know, with those two love balls, you can get your Beldums and Cosmog for the most, most part. Over Candy, because we're playing an Evolution deck. Um, this will de this deck will struggle against Vileplume for sure. Like, turn one Vileplume, you probably just scoop and just go home. Uh, one Rescue Shush, put a Pokemon back into your deck, of course. You really don't need Super Rod, um, because you can kind of just gain energy out of Disco Pile with the Metagross ability, which is really nice. Four Ultra Ball, four Via Seeker, uh, four Altar of the Sun. Now, the reason I'm playing four of these is to counter the fire decks that are coming up right now. Um, there is some, like, Evolutions decks that are going to hyped right now. We're playing against Volcanion. You have to be able to win the Stadium War, which is why we're playing four. Um, the only scary thing is, can, yeah, I mean, even with Altar of the Sun, Volcanion can knock you out if they quadruple steam up. Um, they, if they do it three times, they do 120, which is 240, then the Choice Band. So they can knock you out, but with All to the Sun, we're going to make it where we can't take down these fire decks, especially with four of them. We're going to win the stadium. We're going to try to win the stadium more for sure. Uh, one Lysander, three in, four Sigma, one Skyla. Skyla's going to guarantee us a trainer card we need, like a Rare Candy or Love Ball, Ultra Ball. Um, 
Besides that, three and a four Sigmar is fine with two Shamans and one Tapu Lele. I mean, we have a bunch of Pokemon, but thanks to like Ultra Balls, you're able to guarantee like a Tapu Lele or Shaman to keep the party going and a not dead draw, which is really the cool thing about Pokemon right now. Uh, Skyla, of course, helps set up one Lysander and three in, so we're going to be fine here. Three Choice Men, so your Met Tanks can do 180. Our Mana Guards can do 180, which is really strong. And 12 Metal. Uh, we just want to play a bunch of Metals, just in case you discard some early. You just want to make sure you pull off So Burst GX for, to its full potential. And if you do that, you're going to you're gonna go places. And I think this deck is really strong. I mean, that's why I'm playing it today. It's a lot of fun. Well, like I said, it's very ability lock. So if you get Hex or a Garboda come down, you're going to be in trouble for sure. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. That is yawned, and uh, let's see the deck in action. Okay. Alright, so when it gets Chat Age 2091, ooh, they're playing a fire deck, but we can counter. <laughs> we do have a stadium that makes us not weak to fire, so that could be really good. Um, if it's Volcanian, we might struggle regardless because they could do a ton of damage and knock us out anyway, but we'll find out here in a second. So the call on the coin flip. <clears throat> Hopefully we will go first. We need to get down multiple um multiple guys. So yes, we won the coin flip. Great. Yes, I would love to go first. And on our turn, let's see what is going to happen. What do we find here? And we get a mulligan, so press done. He knows we're playing Cosmo. Nah, he's gonna see metal energy. He's probably gonna be really happy. Like, oh man, I'm playing against metal. I got that weakness unlock. So we'll press done. We'll get a new hand of seven. And let's see. Alright, so Okay, alright, so uh, press done. Hopefully, we're talking in. If not, we'll definitely have to play a second more. Discard our hand, draw seven cards, throw us a galley away, and a rescue stretcher. Okay, alright. Um, Hopefully, we're talking an ultra ball, and then we can use. Okay, there's a trubbish. Oh, okay. So, I'm gonna choice ban the active, steal energy. And Sycamore, discard our hand, draw seven cards. Okay. So, we found a Beldum, an Altar, and nothing else really. So, we'll pass. Alright, so you might put like an Eevee Lucian's Garboder deck. Um, which is a little bit better than I thought it was going to be. But, we gotta... We gotta watch out for trainer cards, but we do have so much HP. Like, what, 250 and then Resistance. Uh, Altar the Moon coming down. Psychic Energy, Choice Band, okay. And an end. That's great. Our hand right now did not have a rare candy, so Galio so that's fine with me. Hopefully we find a rare candy, so Galio and another bronze ore. Okay, and all right. So we got the we got the Skyla, we got the Ultra Ball, but um, not exactly. If we try to get Belt on, then we're okay. There's an Eevee coming down. He is going to be able to use the Energy Evolution. Oh boy, he's probably plays Flare on. So Eevee coming down. Okay. And there's a stomp off. Or no! Okay, we thought they could build him, so that's still good. Alright, so we'll Skyla. And with the Skyla, we'll grab a rare candy. We will Ultra Ball discard one and two. To grab. Uh, what am I going? So Galio, there we go. So grab So Galio. We will rare candy to Cosmog into So Galio. So let's see how many item cards we have here. I know it's a bunch. It's a uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, so 20, 40, 60, 80. He can only do ooh, 8, 9, 8, 9. He can only, do, he only does 220, so it doesn't knock us out yet. But it's still energy, and we'll go for the soul burst. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm going to put another one on the Beldum. No, I'm going to put one on the Active, so that way, so Gallo can take a knockout next turn if needed. And then both the Beldums can attack later on, so I think that's fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah, because he's 20, 40, 60, 80, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, the max he can do is 220, so it's not taking a knockout. We're going to see a VS Seeker for N. Okay. Hopefully with this N, we find like, <clears throat> Rare Candy Metagross, Rare Candy Metagross, maybe a, a Metang, that'd be really nice. Uh, maybe a stadium, if it's not a Flareon, and all right, do not find any of those cards I was talking about, but does he find anything? Does he find a Garbodor? There's another Eevee coming down. We know he's playing Flareon. We saw the fire in his stack. We know he's playing it. That's, yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact fact. All right, so Garbodor, go to the bench, okay? 
What was he, a stop off here, maybe? Uh, yeah, we're gonna see a stop off, actually. Gonna discard a... Oh, no, an altar being discarded, okay? Uh, we get a Metagross. Um, so we get VS Seeker for a rare... Uh, Skyla for a rare kitty. Okay, so yeah, Skyla for the rare candy. Alright, so rare candy to Metagross. Let's see here. Um, so we can use so Galio's Ultra Road to sit in the Metagross. Okay. We could then use the Geotech system to put a, a Metal Energy on the active. And I'm going to Shaman for two. Okay, yes. And let's see, what do we get with these two cards? We get a Alter. Okay, so two Alters are going to hand put that down. And we will take a Knockout with the Giga Hammer. We can't use it again next turn, but hopefully we find... We can send in a Sogalio to take a Knockout. We're doing 150, go down to five price cards. We find a Rare Candy, okay. So we get VF Seeker for a Skyla to get another Metagross out, take another Knockout. Okay. Alright, so let's see, we're going to send a Garboder right now, let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, uh, 20, 30, 40, 50, he can do 300 damage, um, minus 20, so 280 right now. Alright, so we'll see if uh, Flare coming down, which is unfortunate, we don't have a, we don't have a, a Lice in our discard pile, there's a Tapulela coming down, okay. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he could do 240 right now without a choice fan. So that doesn't take a knockout, or 220, I guess. But he's not going to take a knockout if he doesn't find a choice fan here. So that'd be really nice. All right, Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven cards, discard the Ave Vaporeon and a Jolteon. He is making sure he's knocking on everybody. Does he find a choice fan and a psychic energy? If he does, he'll take a knockout here. But if he does not, we'll still be li living. All right, so an Eevee coming down. Psychic Energy, does he have the Choice Band? There is, yeah, I don't. Oh boy, does he have, oh, we also still have Altered and Sent Out, so he's not um, hitting for weakness either. All right, so the, here we go, we're surviving, only doing 100 damage thanks to the Altar. All right, so we find a Metal Energy, so we can via Seeker, or Skyla, okay. With the Skyla, we can grab an Ultra Ball, so Skyla for an Ultra Ball. Uh, we'll get another Metagross out, which is really nice. So we'll Ultra Ball, uh, discarding a Sycamore and a Cosmoan. And yeah, alright, so we'll grab a, a Metagross, a Rare Canyon Metagross. So there's a Rare Canyon Metagross, we can put that down. Um, we could put a... We'll put a Metal Energy on Shaman if we need to Sky Return later on. We use Ultra Road, switching the Metagross with the bench to the active. We'll use the Geotech, put a Metal Energy on it, and we will Giga Hammer for the knockout. Alright, so we'll take, we're taking down the Garboda deck slowly. Alright, so we'll take a knockout. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Alright. So do 150, go down to 4. We get an Ultra Ball. Alright, so onto our opponent's turn. Let's see what can he do here. He can maybe send in an Espeon, um, but he can only go for Psychic, and we can switch out the Metagrosis. He needs a Hex here to shut our down from using the Ultra Road. Alright, so there we see an Ultra Ball. He's got two cards from his hand. Discards a, a Mimikyu, okay? Mimikyu being discarded. What does Mimikyu do? Let's read this. Make sure we ain't. Uh, Filch, draw two cards, and Copycat. If your opponent's Pokemon, use an attack that isn't a GX attack during the last turn. Use it as this attack, okay? So we see an Oracorio coming down, okay? Gonna search for two Psychic Energies, which can get him out the, um, you know, the, <clears throat> what was it? The Espeon, like I said, to confuse us. But then we can send Solgaleo, uh, go for Sunshine Strike for the knockout, and then we can repower it for the Metagrosis. So we'll see a Espeon coming down, okay? We'll be able to one-shot it, thanks to Solgaleo. It actually does, like, 260. And we see Psybeam for 10. Gonna confuse us, but we will switch out with the Solgaleo off the bench. So we'll use the Ultra Road, switch into Solgaleo to the active, and we'll go to Sunshine Strike. For the knockout, uh, going down to two prize cards. We are taking down this Garboder deck, which is really funny. Uh, Alter the Sun making a difference, uh, taking a knockout, going down to two. We can use Metagross' abilities, put two energies on the active, trying to find an energy, and we actually can win the game next turn. Uh, I guess it depends what he sends up. There's an Eevee. 
We do have a Tapu Lele in our deck, um, another Shaman in the deck as well. So is he a Sycamore? Discard his hand, draw Stimic cards, discard the Garb, and he had a bunch of stuff in his hand actually, and he had Sycamore already in there. So what can our opponent do? If he puts down another SP on the active, we can easily knock it on. There we go. Uh, take it the game against Garboder. And you think, you know, you struggle against Garboder. You play a bunch of trainer cards. But with the resistance and Alter the Sun, making a difference in the game. Making where we don't have weakness made it an incredible matchup. And you can see how strong this Metagross, uh, so Galio deck is. So maybe Metagross might be playable. I know some people said, you know, that, that Metagross wasn't very useful, it seems bad, but that's the good thing about Pokemon right now. Every deck has a chance to do well in this meta right now, which is fantastic. But we'll see another game with the Metagross so Galio deck here in a second. Um, hopefully we get set up. That's the only downside of the deck is you have to get set up, but we did find a rare candy so Galio turn two, which was really nice. But we'll see what happens in the next game. Okay. Alright guys, so game number two, opening it's um not sure how to say my opponent's name. PD Dad. Um, play some kind of grass deck with Rallet as a coin. So I think that's Decidueye, which is like the. Oh, maybe it's Tapu Bolu or whatever it's called. Alright, so get a mulligan. Oh, goodness. Revenant Vile Flame. Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna get 70 cards in our hand. Alright, so get a mulligan. Oh boy, turn one Vile Plume probably just like shuts it down completely, like... Yep, that's probably a really bad magic for us. Um... I mean, we do have a lot of HP, so he, he does need to do, like... I mean, the the, the, the Tremnant's what I'm not scared about. It's definitely the Vile Plume, just shutting us down, making us use Rare Candy and stuff like that's really bad. So, we actually have a really good start, though. But one, two, three. Rest done, okay. Alright. <clears throat> All right, so let's see what happens. We get an old ball, discard a metal, and something. Um, so a Lysander. Ooh, a Garb in the active. All right, Trevish. So old ball, discard one and two. Grab a Shaman. Okay. We'll Choice Band, a Beldum, and we'll Shaman for five and new cards, okay? Let's see, what do we get with these five new cards? We get a uh, Sycamore, so Galio, and Altar. All right, so we put a Metal Engine in the active, and I'm just going to pass. We do have a Rare Candy, uh, so Galio next turn, and a Sycamore. Hope we hit a Rare Candy Metagross, get that set up. If we took to another Metagross, we get double Rare Candy, which would be really nice. We just got to hope he does not get this turn one Vile Plume. If he doesn't, we're going to be okay. So Phantom coming down, okay, don't care about that too much. All right, so Phantom coming down. We see a trainer's mill, like a top four cards of his deck. Now, he probably wants to get. I mean, the, the thing about like the Trevenant deck is Trevenant's stage one, so you don't have to like super go hard for Trevenant. You can like focus more on Bloom since it is easier to get the Trevenant. So, is he Ultra Ball? Discard two cards from his hand, uh, most likely grabbing a Shaman, I think is what we're going to see. Um, let's see here. What does he get with this? Maybe an Oddish. Maybe he already has a Sycamore in hand or something. He did Trainer's Mill Fell, which is good. Like, you gotta think he plays a bunch of Trainer cards, like Love Balls and, and Forest and a bunch of Supporter cards. It didn't find anything. So, the Ultra Balls discards an Ultra Ball and Sycamore, which means, in my head, he already has another Supporter card. And he discards an Ultra Ball, which is... His other cards must be really, really nice if he did keep those. So, she is Shaman. Uh, gonna come down. Set up for three. Alright, so Skyla. Skyla will allow him to get a Forest of Giant Plants. I think that's what we're gonna see here. Uh, Skyla for Forest of Giant Plants, but we can immediately counter that with the Altar of the Sun if he does not, uh, you, if he does, yeah. Alright, so that's gonna come down. He's still gonna, he's gonna shame him for four, and, uh, with those four cards, does he find, okay, now he's gonna shame him for five. Okay. Does, with these five cards, does he find a turn one Foul Plume? Alright, so let's see set up. Okay. What does he get here? Now, Trevenant, if you don't know, Poltergeist does 30 times the amount of uh, each trainer card you find there. So right now it does 90. There's a Flustro on the active. Oh, no, please do not knock on my Cosmog. Uh, Shaman for two. That would be really terrible. All right, so set up for two. One to two. I mean, we can still wreck any Metagross and, like, maybe discard a Metal and attach one, get in the Metagross house somehow, like, double Metagross, attach, uh, double uh, Geotech. A lot to ask for, but it could be plausible. Nope, just gonna pass into our turn. All right, so that's really good. So rare candy into so Galio. 
Uh, I wish we had a Skyla the discard pile. We'll put down the altar and we will Sycamore, discard our hand, draw seven new cards. All right, so he did not find a turn one Volvo, which is great for us. All right, so we can put down Metang. We can Ultra Ball, discard one and two. Okay, we'll grab another Cosmog. Put that guy down, and we are going to use the Soul Burst GX attack. So we'll put one, two, three, four, five. We actually, had five energies exactly. So one, uh, two, three, four, and five. All right, so that way you guys get eight energies. We have Metagross in the back, which is pretty nice. Onto our opponent's turn. Right now, if he uses Trivenet, he's only doing 30, um, which is really nice. That's, a, that's the thing about Trivenet early, early game is you can manipulate your hand, make it where you can't do a lot of damage. There's a Garboder coming out. Garboder is only doing two, four, six, eight, uh, minus 20, so 60. All right. They can't knock on Metang. He can maybe knock on a Belt. No, he can't knock on Beltum either. What did I say? Yeah. Oh, 20, 40, 60, 80. No, he could knock out Beldum. Okay. So the trainer's about not hitting anything again. My opponent's just not setting up. Okay. All right. So I think it's funny. We're setting more than him, and he has, like, Shamans and everything like that. There's a Lily. Gonna only draw two. A Lily's only good turn one. I know it seems really nice with, like, Toppy Lele nowadays, but I personally wouldn't play it. And, um... So go to send the Shaman. That Shaman is not safe for the world. He is about to get knocked out. So on our turn, we find a Skyla... Okay, actually, yeah, I'm going to Skyla for a Rare Candy. Yeah, we're going to Skyla for a Rare Candy. Rare Candy to Metagross, and just take a Naga. That's, that's top deck was really nice. All right, because now we don't have to use our end anymore. So send in the Metagross. We'll get the Rare Candy Metagross. We will use the Ultra Road, send in the Metagross to be active. Use the Geotech, and we'll take a, a Naga here with the Giga Hammer. So, yep, put a Metal on the active. And we will Giga Hammer for 150. Knock out the Shaman Yes, going out of four prize cards. All right, so as you see, you only really need to get one Metagross, one Sogalio. You can easily start winning the game. So Metal Energy and a Rare Candy. So this is, he makes where he does 60, and still doesn't really matter. On to our opponent's turn. Um, all right, so we got this 250 HP Metagross and Sogalio just sitting here. Can't try to take it down. I'm not sure. I am not sure at all. I guess our opponent's in a bad spot. He's staring down these big, big Pokemon. We actually got a rare candy, so Galio as well. So we can put a Metal on this guy. We can see the other, so Galio. And these guys are going to start stacking with each other. So see another Shaman being sent in. Oh, boy. Um, so pass to our turn again. Just doesn't have anything. So a rare candy. And so Galio. Okay. We will Metal this guy. Using the Ultra Road to send the only Cell Gallo to the active and we'll Sun Seal Strike for the knockout. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna go down to two price cards. You gotta think opponent stack super consistent and he is this dead drug. He has a bunch of cards in his hand, but I imagine us counting the stadium might hurt him. I don't know. Uh, there's a metal and VS here in our hand. Once again, he can only do 60 damage, and this is how you kinda like can take down this Trevor deck, keep a low hand size. Actually, it does 90. Um but still, 90 damage is not 250. There's a Flowstone to the Trevenant. He needs to play a Sycamore. He needs to play something. All right, so there's Sycamore uh, discarding a bunch of stuff. There's Olympia. There's a Lysander, a Vitalizer. Um, yeah, just a Vileplume. So he is going to start putting out his Pokemon, but it might be way too late. There's a Force of Giant Plants coming down. Okay. Um, even if he gets a Valve out here, we're going to be fine. We have an N. We can try to find another Metagross. Um, even if we don't find another Metagross, what we can do is we can Geotech the active, put a Metal Energy on it, use the uh, Ultra Road to send in the Metagross, and the next turn just attach Energy or uh, do it again. There's a Psychic Energy to the active, and I do not think my opponent can win this game now. There's pretty much nothing they can do. Um, so we see Trash Lanch. Not doing a lot of damage. We are resistant to Psyche, which is really nice. On our turn, we get an altar. We'll put it on the altar. We will Metal Energy the active. Geotech the active. Um, You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to VS take it for an Ultra Ball. 
Uh, for Devia's looking for Skyla to grab an Ultra Ball, and we're gonna put our hand down to zero. But with this, we're gonna make our Tremna can't do any damage really. We're gonna make it where no one can do anything, and we're gonna power up another Solgaleo. So we're gonna Ultra Ball, discard it in, and the Altar of the Sun. Putting these down to zero cards, but that's fine. We're gonna grab another Metagross, put that down, and there's gonna be nothing my opponent can really do this turn. We'll put down the Metagross, we'll Geotech to the active. All right, so Geotech to the active. We will use the so Galio's ability to swing in that bench Bronzong, or not bench Bronzong, bench, bench Metagross or, or Ultrode, the Metagross to the active, and we will go for the Giga Hammer for 150. Knock out the garb, going out of one prize card. Okay, now he could be not trying to break, but so Galio does 230, so we do not care about Metal Energy on our hand. Trevenant's not going to do any damage, and we're going to take down this Trevenant Garbodor deck. There's nothing they can do. Um, unless you, like, lice into the Sogalio plus a Garb somehow, which is impossible. Uh, so we might need a Field Blower to beat Garb decks, but there's a DC going to the active, but it, right now, uh, Poultry Guys is doing zero damage. It's going to do nothing. And we see Vigilance coming down, and we see so Galio taking down another deck. Oh my goodness. Um, opponent not sitting up there, but that is fine. I'll uh, take get a mystery prize. Let's look at our opponent's deck real quick. You can see it's just a guard. I don't if, if you're playing, I think if you're going for like a Trevenant deck, you probably should just play like Garb Trevenant, not Garb Trevenant Foul Plume. That's just so much going on. Uh, two Toppy Lele's, two Shaman, uh, two, three, four. One, one, one. Only one Ultra Ball? Oh, no, four. Okay, there it is. I was going to say, I was like, what? What is going on here? I mean, it looks fine. Uh, the Lily, I'm, I guess the Lily's good turn one if you can, like, put down the top of Lily turn one. But I'd definitely probably, like, three Shamans. I just don't know how I feel about using both Trevenant and Garbodor. Like, you should probably, like, focus on, like, Trevenant Vileplume. Or, in my head, you just play just Trevenant Garb. You just, like... Do both, like, both best of both worlds. Like, Garb, if your opponent plays down a bunch of trainer cards and try to, like, manipulate where Trevenant doesn't do a bunch of damage and Garb takes a knockout. If they do the other way where they make, where uh, Trevenant, I mean, Garb doesn't do a lot of damage and Trevenant does a lot of damage, I think that way is better without the Vile Boom. I really don't think you need it um, because without this, you don't play Choice Fan, so you don't do as much damage. Um, that 30 damage doesn't matter a lot. You can't play stuff like Field Blower and, um, if he had one regular Garbodor, that would shut us down. So we probably need a Field Blower in the deck in our Stogalio deck. Um, let's let's go to X real quick. Go to Edit Deck. <clears throat> probably put us... Uh, I mean, I don't know how good one Field Blower is because they can put down, like, more uh, tools. Like, the, those Garb decks, like, the Garbodor just play four Float Stones. So one Field Blower probably won't work too well. Um, you just gotta hope they don't get that because I see a lot of decks not playing that garb anyway the, the garb or toxin garb so you should be okay regardless but there you go guys there is the Metagross so Galio deck I know um, yeah I, I think this deck is going to be really good I think it's really good like you just do a ton of damage with Metagross and so Galio the only problem like I said earlier is setting up that's going to be the main issue but guys hope you enjoyed this episode of Rogue Tuesday I know so Galio Metagross is kind of a weird spot where it's kind of roguish but not really um it's definitely something you can put together i think it's rogue because a lot of people aren't talking about it and it is a little bit hard to set up so it's not gonna be i, don't, I mean it might be playable the format has slowed down i keep saying this almost every video the format has slowed down a lot uh thinks that like the trainers will not be in play because they're scared of garb and stuff like that but with this deck we're not really scared of garb because of weakness and we have 250 hp but guys hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching have a fantastic tuesday Alrighty, bye all right, guys, I just want to give a quick shout-out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.